Welcome back to Blazer Builds. On this episode, we're gonna be fabricating some wastegate tubes on this twin turbo LS Mustang. Okay, so we're starting out this video with a little unboxing from Hunter Tuned. So if you're not familiar with this whole build, this car originally showed up at Hunter's shop for a dyno tune, and there was a lot of work that needed to get done. So that's why the car's here. I'm doing the finish up work on the car and well, it's kind of like almost a whole rebuild, but getting the thing dyno ready and then we're going to send it back to Hunter shop to have it tuned. So Hunter sent some fuel line because like 90% of the fuel line and oil drain lines and stuff are bad. And he also sent two of the new Hunter tuned wastegates. So these are a 44 millimeter gate. There's two of them in the box. They come with two different size springs. I'm not exactly sure what the springs are. Maybe like a four and a eight or something like that. Fire ring, all the fittings for the banjos. Okay, so I'm mocking up the wastegates and I was gonna pie cut this section, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use these bends that were left over because I didn't use any bends in this straight section. So I had two bends left over and I was actually looking at my truck and that's kind of where I thought about this idea. So I was just looking at kind of how I have my wastegates positioned and, and I used an elbow coming off of the bend there. And same on this one over here, you can see it comes down, it's actually an elbow. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, I don't really want to do the pie cuts. And I have these extra sections, they're a little bit big, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off the bottom like this, turn the wastegate down. Wastegate will be upside down. We'll have good wastegate priority coming right off of the manifold into the bend and then turning it down. So it kind of serves a dual purpose, helps me keep wastegate priority, has a smooth bend transition into the wastegate. It gets the wastegates out into the same position. What I want to do is turn them both down and then use the front section of the bend in line with the balancer and then the bottom section of the bend flush with the bottom of the frame rail on each side. So what that will allow me to do is when the bottom is flush with the frame rail it'll have the discharge of the wastegate slightly under the frame rail. So this will come out this way. This bend will come down this way. Wastegate will be out at a 90 or I can pivot it this way to go towards the bumper. This will be flush with the bottom. Discharge will be below the rail and that should work out pretty good. Only thing I am going to change on this is the flange is a little bit small. You can see the outer diameter of the pipe matches the OD of the, the flange. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this on the lathe and I'm just going to smooth this transition out a little bit just to get it to fit a little bit better so it's not hitting a wall and then going in. So I'll do that. Okay, so here's the new piece compared to the old piece. You can see it's just a nice smooth transition in. Doesn't have the little step in it anymore. Outer diameter is about the thickness of the pipe. And you see it does have a nice smooth transition in. So that should work out pretty well. So I know that transition thing probably is not super critical, but now I can say with 100% confidence that the car here is not going to break in half because the internet will know that there will be slightly less turbulence when the air is getting squeezed through this tiny little valve. So I said I wanted it to be lined up with the balancer and then underneath the frame rail. So I took my little turbo hanger jig there and clamped it on. And now I have my exact placement that I want. So the reference point is level. It's lined up with the balancer. They're both underneath the frame rails there. And then I marked them at like two and three quarters inches from the frame rail. So that the center of this pipe will be able to come in right around there, but it'll be actually on the front face, something like that. And then the passenger side will be very similar. These pieces aren't trimmed, so they don't really exactly fit right yet, but it will come in kind of in that spot, be something like that, and that should work out. So got a plan. I'll come back out tomorrow and start shaping up these pieces. I think this piece I'll be able to get because it's so close. I think with that piece, I'll be able to just trim the elbow it might not have to add anything onto it this one is i'm probably going to have to add like two inches onto it here just to extend out the bottom a little bit because the angle the bottom doesn't make it all the way to the pipe so i'll probably add a little bit on there get to notch and Okay, so I did get this driver's side piece notched out. The blue piece is basically just 
uh, marker for where I want to cut the bottom of this tube off so I can get the pipe to come straight back down. Essentially this is going to come out this way and then the paper will come straight back down. Well, the pipe will come straight back down. It's just going to be like a little addition like this. Now this piece here, uh, this one actually turned out really well. This one was like almost an accident how well this went together. And then that's going to come up like this and look at the fitment. Would you just look at it? So next thing I'll do is mock these up where I want them from the bottom side and then mark where I need to make a hole. I'll do that in both. Pull the pipes off, make the hole, and we'll get to welding them on. All right, just a quick mock up with some tape. That's kind of what they'll look like. I did tack weld that little extension piece down on the bottom there. So I'll come out here. That'll come out there and should be okay. So next I'm gonna trace around where those tubes are and then I'll take the the main pipes off and we'll hole saw them and uh, probably use a burr bit and open them up a little bit. So I got the passenger side done, all welded up. I got the race gate flange on there, and I think this one turned out really well. Do have my purge line in there, so everything's purged on the inside. So I'll be able to mock this thing up now, and uh, we'll start on the driver's side. <laughs> at this we got some waste skates looks pretty sick I think comes out flows nicely into there down into the waste skates down into here I did add that little extension piece down there to get the length that I needed to put them in the same spot but they are pretty much in the same spot across and they're very close to the same height here if you compare to where the bottom of the radiator is they're quite a bit higher than the radiator they're basically right at the level of the balancer so good distance from the ground and I should be able to just angle them straight towards the bumper where the dumps gonna come out so overall I'm pretty happy with how those turned out that was like the more challenging part that I was worried about was getting those to fit properly and notching those things and everything and getting them to look halfway decent so next is gonna be the downpipes and I'm really just gonna kinda use these flanges as a template. I think what I can do is use this flange and then kind of go like this and mark ballpark where the hole's going to be. And I'll take the turbos off and drill it. And those will be real simple. It's just 90 down, straight piece, 90 out. So I think we'll make that the next video. We'll finish down pipes and the cold side. And I did get the tubing and stuff that I'm thinking about using for the oil drains. Actually got two different thicknesses here. The big one will be for the drains. And then this is the one I ordered to remake this little standoff inside there, or space or whatever you want to call it. Because that bolt down there doesn't have one on it. So thanks for watching. Thanks Hunter Tuned for the wastegates. Check out huntertuned.com and see you in the next video. So next thing I'll do, next thing I'll do, so next thing I'll do is mock these up where I want them.